dream about that. Rocky Top, you will always be home swing home to me. Good old Rocky Top, Rocky Top, Tennessee, Rocky Top, Tennessee. Rocky Top, you'll always be home sweet home to me. Good old Rocky Top, Rocky Top, Tennessee, Rocky Top, Tennessee. in the wrong place. <laughs> This ain't no crazy 
We got together and rehearsed for this, being as we all have such busy schedules. <laughs> actually, we're not that busy. We were just all busy at different times. We couldn't ever get together. So we didn't get a whole lot of rehearsing in. And we made this nice list of songs, and the keys are all in. And when we got down here Friday night, nobody had the list. And we haven't found it yet. So <laughs> so moving right along, if, if it comes to a spot where it looks like we just don't know what we're going to do, just talk amongst yourselves for a few minutes, and we'll get it all ironed out. Now, what did we decide on? Another Osborne brother. I don't know who wrote this, but the Osborne brothers had one of the best arrangements of it. It's called Once More. Red Allen wrote this. Goodness sakes. Oh, Red Allen. As a guy, he's, he's kind of, but he's a good songwriter, evidently. <laughs> Once more.
They've heard me talk all night. <laughs> well, let's see. I talk like Bucky Beaver on acid, and it makes me self-conscious sometimes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> in rock and roll, you don't have to talk very much, you know, because the kids uh, don't respond to much of anything except for decibel level. And uh, <laughs> they just wheel them in, you know, prop them up there on the floor. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you know, rock and roll kids take a lot of downers. It's real weird. It's really strange playing a different kind of audience. You're about the quietest audiences I think I've ever play for and certainly the nicest without a doubt at least you don't throw frisbees at us up here in the stand <laughs> I was on this tour with Neil Young and we were playing in these giant huge places that would hold well most of them were like they were hockey rinks you know and uh, some of them were um, arenas you know where they have stock shows and stuff like that that didn't smell too nice I might add <laughs> and um, the kids they get these tubes they're filled with um, uh, fluorescent liquid and throw them back and forth and you're singing along <laughs> like, like I was watching a ping pong tournament. Oh yeah, we're gonna do um <laughs> We can pass us in. I learned it real. I had to learn that real fast, you know, because I wanted to do it so bad. But um, let's see. Uh, oh, this is my favorite. I think my favorite Hank Williams song. It's my favorite one that I sing anyway. They're all my favorites, but this one is special to me, and it's called um. Uh, <laughs> 
call. I can't help it if I'm still in love with you. <laughs> people have had as good time as we have up here. Boy, I love singing this music, you know. I don't usually get a chance to, um, well, first of all, I never get to hear myself because we're all playing in front of eight million amplifiers. They're going, <laughs> our impersonation of Led Zeppelin. And then, um, <laughs> also, I don't get a chance to do much close harmony singing, especially since I have to sing lead all the time, which is kind of boring. <laughs> so <laughs> it's sort of a treat for me, you know, to get to, get to do this. Besides, um, Half these guys have been my heroes, you know, since before I left Tucson. I used to listen to them at home on my bluegrass records. Roger Bush especially. Tell how he... old you were, Linda. <laughs> she was just a kid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. Nice to have you up with us, honey. <laughs> <laughs> So, like I said, this is the last song we're going to do. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> it's called Rolling My Sweet Baby's Arms. Railroad. I 
Bobby Kimmel. We got we got one more to do in answer to a request from uh, Bobby from uh, Bobby Kimmel and Linda Ronstadt. We had one more to uh, do as a request, so we'll finish off with this for them. This is uh, one where y'all get something free. Get a little free ride on a train. Byron's going to be the engineer of the train. The locomotive looks like a little fiddle, and we're all going to go for a ride on the Orange Blossom Spacer.
Gazette with Byron Burlein and Roger Bush.